can we do? Baby Slump has been crying like this for hours. I hate crying for hours. Oh, I do hope Baby's all right. Hmm. Well, there is no doubt about it. Baby Smurf is teething. Teething? Teething? What's teething? Oh, Smurf, and everybody knows what teething is. Teething is when you... Well, uh, when Baby Smurf is going to have a tooth. And what Baby needs is a visit from the Tooth Fairy. I never heard of the Tooth Fairy, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Well, Smurfette, it's been 300 years since anyone around here needed the services of the Tooth Fairy. You need a Tooth Fairy? <laughs> There's no such thing as a Tooth Fairy, you fool! But it hurts so much, I can't think straight! He can't think straight? Well, think about this! If you don't get that emerald from the ambassador, I'll throw you both in the moat. You throw us in the moat? But Master Bowser's off! The pain! The pain! I'll give you a pain right in the neck. Now get me that emerald. I don't care how you do it. Just get me that emerald. Yes, yes master. master. According to this message, the ambassador from Zad is, at this very moment, visiting Homnibus. That means he could be here tomorrow. I understand he has his family with him, sire. He does indeed. A wife and child. Greet him warmly and guide the entourage safely back to the castle. Yes, sire. But I haven't had my breakfast yet. Entertain the baby! Entertain the baby! Rats! Listen, Johan, I'm starving! Why can't we stop at the Smurf Village and get something to eat? Oh, I suppose if we don't, I'll never hear the end of it. Ah, Mr. Ambassador, welcome to my humble cottage. Now, this is an order, Clumsy. Whatever you do, don't let go. Yes, sir. Oh! Clumsy, you did it again. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Brainy. Oh, sure you're sorry. But let me tell you, it'll be your fault if we miss the play. A green gun! A green-eyed dragon! Hey, wait for me! Papa Smurf, it looks like nothing will amuse Baby. I'm afraid not, Johan. I think it's time to send for the Tooth Fairy. Oh, my tooth is killing me! Quiet, or you won't have any teeth! Now listen to me. You will intercept the ambassador on Molar Mountain. Isn't that mountain haunted? Nonsense! If the ambassador takes the high road, arrange for the bridge to collapse. And if they take the low road, arrange a rock slide. <laughs> I want that emerald! Do you really think the master has a moat monster? Oh, don't be silly. He's just trying to scare us. Yeah! yeah! My fondest regards to Omnibus, Johan. Please tell him I'm looking forward to a game soon. And thank you for your hospitality, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Oh, Papa Smurf, we saw this terrible monster! It was the biggest monster I've ever seen! But it had a green eye! Are you sure it wasn't a dragon? Oh, no, it wasn't a dragon, Papa Smurf. It was a monster! Where was this monster? At the Frog Pond, Papa Smurf! A big pond not far from where Omnibus lives. A monster, you say? 
Pee-wee, we must hurry. The ambassador may be in danger. Hurry, 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 hurry. We never have time to eat. Rats. Perhaps, Johan, you wouldn't mind taking along some of my little smurfs as far as Molar Mountain. We have need of the Tooth Fairy, and her cave is midway between the high road and the low road. I tell you, Johan, all this riding is not good for my digestion. I can't stand this toothache! He can't stand this toothache. What's that? Nothing, just the wind. I tell you, this mountain is haunted! It's just the wind. Now get back to work. It'll take your mind off your tongue. Look, down there! Who is it? I don't know. They're too far away. According to Papa Smurf's map, the Tooth Fairy's cave is between here and the high road. Oh, I wish you could go with us. Papa Smurf said she was very nice. I'm sorry. The ambassador is waiting. Let's hope the storm doesn't break before we get there. I wonder who that was. Who cares? Let's get back to work. We still have to arrange our rock slide. <laughs> Don't tell me that's the wind. Jack, <laughs> the town folk think your camel is a monster. <laughs> I suppose it is, if you've never seen a screaming camel before. With all due respect, Ambassador, I don't know which is worse, a screaming camel or a screaming baby. What is the matter with Zamasheba, my beloved? The poor child is teething. Surely there is something we can do. There is, husband, but alas, we are far, far from home. Well, babies are not in my line, but I do wish I had something to help. What this baby needs is a tooth fairy. As a matter of fact... Most royal ambassador, I have been charged by my king to escort you to the castle. My family and I most gratefully appreciate your escort. I'm sure Dame Barbara can take care of the baby's problem. I will return to the castle immediately. We just got here. Surely you must be tired. Besides, there is a storm coming. My king would have it no other way. But, Johan, I haven't had my dinner yet. Do not fret, Pee-wee. I shall go alone. Hya, Bayard! Hya! We'll take the high road, old boy. Save a little time. Her cave must be right up there. Oh, yeah. I can hardly wait to give her my present. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can wait. There it is again. Well, I say let's get out of here. We're not going anywhere. We've got a job to do. If we don't get that emerald, Balthazar will throw us in the moat. Anybody home? It's us, the Smurfs. I have a surprise for you, too, Terry. <laughs> Scary or not, we'll catch a cold if we stay out on his range. I wonder if the ambassador will take the high road or the low road. Who cares? I care. Suppose all this rock buries them. How will we get the emerald then? It's a lot easier lifting rocks than fighting those guards. What's that noise? The ghost? No, it's a horseman. Look. You fool. I told you we cut the bridge too soon.
Smurfette, and uh, this is Jokey Smurf. Smurfs? Oh, thank goodness. You were the first to visit me in 300 years. Are you the Tooth Fairy? I am indeed. Well, Baby Smurf is teasing, and Papa Smurf says you can help. I would love to help, but I cannot get out. Why not? Once a penny was all I could place under an ogre's pillow. He was disappointed and placed a curse upon me, causing this door to appear, and I have been trapped behind it ever since. For 300 years? There must be a way to open it. Oh, oh there is, but only if you solve the puzzle on the door. You mean K plus E equals 4 and E plus Y equals 10? It's called algebra, a new way of thinking. Surely this is a wonder, a new way of solving problems. I wish it could solve the problem of my baby crying. And she's under a curse and locked behind an iron door. And, and she can't get out unless we solve the puzzle. <laughs> I left her my presents anyway. Hmm. K plus E equals 4, E plus Y equals 10, and K plus Y equals 8. I wonder what it means. Perhaps Humnibus can help us. Oh, my tooth is killing me. Where are you going? I'm going up and get that fellow's sword. He won't need it anymore. <laughs> Ow! If the ambassador's party shows up, give the rock the push and the slide will destroy them all! We'll take the low road. Perhaps we'll meet Johan on his way back. <laughs> so that is the monster, my little Smurf song. Look at the size of that bird. The master will be pleased. Hey, stop! We don't hunt cranes. Bad luck. Baby Smurf is teething. So is the ambassador's baby. A remarkable coincidence. And now, Papa Smurf, why am I honored with this visit? The Tooth Fairy is trapped behind an iron door. Here they come! And look at that! The ambassador is riding on some kind of dragon! Soon we'll have that emerald. What the? <laughs> Johan is in trouble! Pia Beket! We will camp here! And you say the puzzle can be solved with algebra? Yes. This is exactly the kind of thinking I need to free the Tooth Fairy. Can you tell me how this algebra works? I'll try. As yet, I'm not so sure I understand it myself. Johan will be all right. But he shouldn't be moved until he's better able to travel. Somebody weakened that bridge. Or perhaps, husband, someone knows of the emerald. If that is so, they will never find it. It is said that bad men are blind to the sparkle in a camel's eye. Johan never returned. He insisted on returning to the castle to get something to help the baby. Did he take a high road? I don't know. He left just before the store. Rain has never taken out a bridge before. I should have stopped. What are they doing now? They've camped for the night. Now what? We wait until they're asleep and then we'll search for the emerald. And if we don't find it? Then we'll take the baby. I'm sure the ambassador will gladly trade his child for an emerald. <laughs> Look, there's that bird again. And that peewee fellow is talking to it. He's an odd one. Johan's all right, Papa Smurf. A miracle, he's alive. I wonder where the emerald is. Shh, be quiet. Soon they'll be asleep. Please 
return to the village and bring back Baby Smurf. Hello, Francis. It is I, Papa Smurf. Oh, Papa Smurf. Can you help me? I'm certainly going to try. Let's see now. K plus E equals 4. So if E plus Y equals 10, then if K stands for key and the Y stands for... Oh, my. This is difficult. I tell you, taking this baby is a terrible thing to do. It's not as terrible as Balthazar's milk monster. When they give us the emerald, they can have the baby back. Don't cry, baby Smurf. Soon we'll be at the Duke Fairy. We're almost there. Let me tell you a joke, baby Smurf. It's really funny. <laughs> you see, there was this little bunny. <laughs> Way up there, a cave. Yeah! yeah! It's obvious, Francis, that K, E, and Y spell key. But if E plus Y equals 10, then how can... Someone's coming. We brought baby Smurf, Papa Smurf. Have you figured it out yet, Papa Smurf? This algebraic thinking is proving more difficult than I thought. My baby, my baby, someone has taken my baby. Don't cry, my dearest. We'll find you. Over here, look over here. Look, donkey tracks. They lead up the mountain. It's all right, baby Smurf. You'll feel better soon. Well, four and ten and eight equal twenty-two. Uh, no doubt about that. No doubt at all. Papa Smurf, someone else is coming. Over here. Well, well, what have we here? An iron door! And a little box! I wish this kid would settle down. Where is that say? Can you read? No, but those are numbers. That must be the ambassador's baby. Be quiet, baby. Those are bad men. I don't like this place. Did you hear that? It came from up there. Is this somebody's idea of a joke? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! 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 This place is haunted! The donkeys! The ambassador! Don't let them get away! I don't think she's afraid, Smurfette. I think she's teething. It must be catching! <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf, I think sweet. <laughs> Francis, I'm sorry it's taking so long. After 300 years, I've learned to be patient. Now, if Y is the cave, and K the door, and E is the solution, then... Oh, if only a omnibus were here. Where is my child? But, 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 but your lordship, we found the poor little tyke in the woods, and we were just on our way to tell you we found the baby, and that it was... Where is my child? In the cave, your lordship, in the cave. Don't worry, Francis. We'll figure it out. You know, Papa Smurf, I've been thinking. Now, if Y was the key and K was, uh... No, 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 that, no, that's not it either. Let's not be discouraged, my little Smurfs. Surely there must be a simple solution. <laughs> At this rate, it'll take another 300 years. Jokey Smurf, that is not funny. They have hurt my baby, it'll be their heads. <laughs> may your teeth be white and strong, and may your lives be happy and long. Samashiba, where are you, my child? The ambassador. Come, my little Smurfs. The baby will be all right.
Oh, thank God, you're safe. What's this? A tooth? Sheba has a tooth. Well, look here, Ambassador. Isn't this what you were explaining to Omnibus? Remarkable. I wonder how this came to be here. I still don't understand what made the Iron Door disappear, Papa Smurf. Neither do I, Andy. Neither do I.